Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are not going to make any flowers. Today I wanted to show you something special. Look at this. I think this tutorial and this technique how to create beautiful edible lace probably is the most requested technique so far and I've been trying and playing around with this material a lot but you can see how flexible, soft and beautiful this texture is. So that's what we are going to do today. I'll show you how to color your mixture and create this beautiful wafer paper lace pieces. So let's begin. Okay, so to make our lace, you won't believe how simple is that. You will need one piece of wafer paper. This is 0.27 millimeters and 100 grams of water. And we are going to make our wafer paper smoothie, if you wish. I'm going to place my wafer paper into my container and, and my 100 grams of water. I'm going to blend it together. Until I get this homogeneous liquid. It definitely looks like a wafer paper smoothie, right? And if you wanted to color your mixture, I personally prefer to use powder color for that because I've tried with different colors, I've tried with um, gel colors and some of the gel colors contain sugar and then sugar makes this mixture so sticky it's impossible to take off your pan. So I'm going to blend it again. And that's it, that's the mixture I'm going to use to make my lace. And for my lace, I have my pan on medium high, on 8 out of 10. And I'm going to take my mixture and I'm going to put maybe two tablespoons of my mixture on my pan. And then I'm going to bring my heat down. And my goal here is to spread it evenly and let the mixture evaporate to create this lace. You can see it's already drying out and some of the pieces already flaking out of my oven. So it's a very quick process. Just make sure you give it enough time to dry and evaporate on your skillet. And my skillet is absolutely dry, I didn't add any oil, nothing like that. Just my water and wafer paper mixture. And while I'm waiting for my lace to dry, if you don't want to use a whole sheet of wafer paper, you can use your scrub, something like this, when you're going to mix your mixture, your wafer paper smoothie. And for a whole sheet of wafer paper, roughly you need about six grams of wafer paper scrubs. So if you're going to make this lace from using your scrubs, you need six grams of wafer paper scrubs and 100 grams of water mixed together to this texture. Now you can see that my lace is dry and I can take it off my pan. And look how beautiful and ethereal this lace is. It's a little bit crunchy right now, but because it's dry, it's been drying out. If I'm going to put it on my table like that for a few minutes, it will become very flexible like this lace I made today. So again, I'm going to bring my pan up to heat a little bit higher than a medium, so 8 out of 10. I'll put it aside for a second. I'm going to clean my pan to make sure it's dry and it's absolutely clean. And then I'll take my mixture, about two tablespoons at a time. And I'm going to bring the heat down and help to spread this mixture on my pan to make sure that my lace is even thickness. So if your wafer paper lace sticks to your pen, make sure that your color, if you use any gel color, doesn't contain any sugar because now you can see it dries almost immediately and it's relatively easy to take off your pen when it's decently dehydrated. So maybe another second or two because these parts are still a little bit wet. So here again, another piece of flexible lace. 
And you can see after a short rest, it becomes very flexible and soft and you can put it in shape you want. Just make sure that you give it just a moment, maybe a minute or two to rest on your table and reabsorb moisture from the air. And again, it depends on your humidity because my humidity today is very low and sometimes it takes a little bit longer to become flexible. But you can see, for example, this is another experiment I did. This is just wafer paper and water. And you can do whatever you want with this texture. And you don't need to add any glycerin, any glucose syrup, anything like this. Just make your wafer paper smoothies I showed you. And you can have your beautiful ethereal, very light and delicate lace in any color you wanted to have it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked today's tutorial and I hope now you'll try to make your own lace. I don't even know how to call this thing. And if you like my tutorials and my videos, give me a like and share with your friends because we need to share our love for with paper. My name is Anna and I'll see you next week. Same time, same place. Bye-bye.